was to stay over here in Valga for one night. And then from there, it was a good stopover to get straight to where we're going next. However, now that there's more than two of us, I'm finding it's a lot harder to get last minute buses. And the place we're going to next actually closed their train station a couple of years ago. All the buses were already sold out direct. So now we have to go back to Riga, which is two hours in the opposite direction, to get to our next destination. So we're actually backtracking now, which is Owen's most hated thing. Mm. When the first thing you see is a ramp, I get really excited. <laughs> no stairs. We got here, we got off the train, we walked here, that was all standard. Mm -hmm. uh, the apartment's nice. So we're here in Riga, Austria. Yeah. Yeah. As a one night stop because it is the border town between Latvia and Estonia but half the town is in Latvia, the half is in Estonia. It's because during the partition neither state wanted to give it up. We walked yeah. out, we walked to the border which is the whole reason we got here is because it's the border of Estonia and Latvia. Valka on the left, Valga on the right. We couldn't really find any restaurants on that side of the border which was strange. Mm. And then the one that was recommended from the travel page was closed. And we ended up getting burgers at this, we keep buying this place off, it's um, he's burger. We call it the fake McDonald's because yeah. all the burgers look like McDonald's. Yeah, they got like, they got like Big Macs and stuff. And the girls <laughs> were just being nuts, they're crying, they're carrying on. Tell us what happened. Um, the plastic bag had a hole in it, so it went everywhere, so I had to go get more. So one bottle of wine smashed. So you went and bought a bottle of wine and a bottle of local dark beer. It's just good sense to back up your backup. Why didn't we just go back into that same shop over there and get a bottle of wine that we smashed? Because we're socially awkward. It was meant to be a stepping stone to the next place. So the girls wouldn't have such a big bus ride and it'd be a bit easier and then and we're going an, backwards anyway. Even, so. It's an even bigger bus ride. It's actually two buses. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so... But the thing, I think travelling with a now three-year-old yes. at her birthday yeah. and an almost two-year-old is that you can flip this on them. So if you're watching this in the future, Laura and Ella, which I hope you will, <laughs> we're going to trick you tomorrow and we're going to say, how exciting is this that instead of going on one bus, we get to go on two buses? That's how right. How good is that? <laughs> and you're going to love it. They will. I had to walk in new heavy snow. No. Good. Just to really cap off our time here, it's like a snow slash sleet coming down as we walked here, all dredged. Mm -hmm. And I saw this woman fall over about 20 meters away from us. And when we got to the spot where she'd fallen over, I saw a set of keys. So I took the keys and ran after her and had to run in my bags. <laughs> and I passed her the keys and no thank you, no anything, didn't even say, like I don't speak Estonian, but if she'd said a word I would have assumed it was thank you, but she just took the keys and turned around and walked <laughs> So really not keen on this place. <laughs> no offence to this town, but not good for us. Yeah. For 24 hours. <laughs> for 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's worth it, exposing mm -hmm. them, right? Absolutely. Just to really cap off that. Ah! Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Oh, why didn't you tell me? What? Oh, why didn't I tell you the thing that I didn't know? Oh, I can't remember. That snow all down my back. Oh. Snow down the back. Oh, yuck. 